Okay, and we are off. Good morning, everybody. My name is Evan. I'm the community manager for Pursuria.com. Joining us today is Mickey. How are you doing, Mickey? <laughs> Silent and waving. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, appreciate you always joining us and doing the driving, and appreciate you all for tuning in. So today, we are talking about our fifth challenge. We're already up to challenge number five of session one, which will be the last of session one. Uh, for coding with Scratch, which is game publishing. So this is the fifth of five coding with Scratch challenges offered by Pursuitery.com. Once you complete all five challenges, you'll get a Scratch Digital Ninja badge, and you can submit all of those by August 24th at 11.59 p.m. PDT and get the badge if you complete and submit all five to us by that date. But if you complete your challenge by Sunday night, at 11.59 p.m. PDT, and we keep bringing up PDT because, as you know, if you've been watching regularly, we're in California, and we have to draw the line somewhere clockwise, time-wise. You'll be eligible to win a Makey Makey, which is an awesome tool. Basically, it allows you to creatively interface with the world, and it can really bring your Scratch games to a new level as far as like your interaction with them. So if you get your entry in for the Game Publishing Challenge this week by 11.59 p.m. PDT on Sunday, you will be eligible for the Makey Makey if the challenge is complete. Otherwise, you can self-study and get all of your challenge entries in by August 24th, 11.59 p.m. PDT, and get the Scratch Digital Ninja Badge. So, as always, uh, if you have any questions, we're going to answer them at the end of today's Geek Out, and you can always tweet us at Pursuitery, and you can always find us by using the hashtag CodingWithScratch. You can see it under Mickey's name there, Coding with Scratch. And again, you can visit Pursuitery.com to get the uploads of our previous videos and check out all the games and the challenges and what we're doing and get links to the Scratch Coaches Studios, to Scratch itself, and to jump in the challenge. This is a particularly fun challenge because you get to focus on a lot of the things that make a game a game and, more importantly, that make the game yours. So another important question, because we'll sometimes get these really cool and involved questions from people who've been working really hard on their games is where do I go for more in-depth help? And you can look below my name here and it says, pardon me, it gives a link to our Scratch Coaches Studio. We have a coach studio for every challenge and if you go to intr.st forward slash Scratch Studio 5C you can speak to our dedicated Scratch team. We've got some great amazing people there who've been giving us a amazing and jaw-droppingly awesome amount of help over the past five weeks. So big round of applause to all the Scratch coaches out there and the people who volunteered to help. But if you have really intense code questions, you get stuff that you need to have figured out by some really, really smart and fun and sweet people, you should definitely check out that link there because they can give you some great hints and some great tips as far as taking care of the code section of your game and helping you with your code blocks. And anyway, you can find that link also on our page, uh, on this help, on this very hints page, if you're watching it on our embed page on Pursuitery.com, where it says, get help from Scratch Coach. I'm overcome. Get help from Scratch Coaches. So as far as today's geek out, and what we're talking about today, this is the hints geek out for game publishing. Now, game publishing, as I mentioned a few seconds ago, is an interesting challenge, because it's more of something where... It's not a lot of technical requirements, and you can actually look through and find searches and results and guides and tutorials about how to do the tech side of it and get that knocked out pretty quickly. But it's more about personalizing a game and making it yours and making it your experience. So today's Geek Out is about hints for game publishing and how to kind of address what the requirements for the challenge are. There's four requirements. I'll get to that in a second. Um, so as far as getting in the mix with it, you'll need to have a Scratch account, and you can sign up for, the, sign up for that at scratch.mit.edu. That's free. And you'll also need to have a Pursuitery account, and that's spelt, you see there, Pursuitery. Pursuitery.com, that's free as well. And to join this challenge on Pursuitery, click Participate on the Coding with Scratch Game Publishing Challenge page. Uh, you'll have to be logged in. And after you log in and, you know, 
click participate, you can see a submit challenge button and click on that and you'll be able to submit the link to your scratch page and your scratch entry. Uh, again, the deadline for this week is going to be on Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. If you're going for the Makey Makey and if you want to get all five of your challenges completed in and get the Scratch Digital Ninja Badge, you'll need to have them in on August 24th at 11.59 p.m. PDT. And a previous question we've got gotten a few times that I always bring up just so everybody knows, if you want to edit your challenge and do some, you know, say you get on a Tuesday or Wednesday and then you realize, I want to do some more work on that before Sunday, if you're going from the Makey Makey, you can just go back to the same challenge page and after you logged in, you can click edit your submission and update the listing with the new URL for your challenge if you can add in all those bells and whistles you want to and go back and get those back in though. So again, that's the entry process. And as far as getting help goes, please uh, do check out the link below my name here. That's where all the heavy, intense, super, super, super max level over 9,000 coaches are hanging out, and they can give you a great amount of help with that. And again, please feel free to tweet us using the hashtag Coding with Scratch, as you'll see under Mickey's name here. And if we cannot immediately answer your question and immediately help you, we will get to you to somebody who can. The whole idea is to have as much fun with this as possible and to really enjoy Scratch and make games your own. And with that said, let's move on to actually talking about the Game Publishing Challenge. So the Game Publishing Challenge has four requirements. And this is actually my personal favorite challenge because it allows you to make the game yours. So for the Game Publishing Challenge, you're going to have one of your games... Uh, it can be one of your previous games, like for instance last week you take your Choose Your Adventure game and tweak that around and publish it and brand it. But here's four requirements that you're going to need to fulfill the game publishing challenge. You'll need to have a high score list, sound effects, a ton of fun, a splash screen with credits, and instructions. Now, there are a variety of options here in a variety of ways to kind of approach this and go over this stuff. I mean, the sky's the limit. If you think about all the great games you've played in the past and the fun you had when you clicked on your computer, your controller, and you saw, like, Street Fighter II come up or, or you know, the Minecraft login screen. And, by the way, if you're into Minecraft, you should definitely be visiting Pursuitery.com right now because we're doing a whole lot of Camp Minecraft stuff. But that feeling you get and that experience you get is a big deal. You, know, you feel you're kind of... You're, nerves jump and your heart warm up about you know seeing that login screen and getting ready to play some games. That's what we're talking about this week with game publishing. We're talking about making a game your own. So since there's so many options and there's so many different ways to do it, we suggest taking a look at the hints video that we've got up on our Scratch Game Publishing hints page, which if you're watching the embed is the same page, because that's very useful and you'll get an idea about how to take care of some uh, splat, splash screen issues, how to how to do some of the basic work there. But the point of this week's challenge is to pick one of your games, and you can even remix a game from scratch, that's completely okay, and brand it and make it yours so it's your experience and your expression. So with this in mind, there are several great videos that I want to point towards people, uh, point out toward people, and some great examples floating around the scratch page itself that I want to make note of. And I suggest taking a look at some of these if you're looking on the tutorial side of it, if you want to get direct advice of like, okay, how do I do X, how do I do Y, how do I do Z, and that's going to be the following titles, um, and I may update the, I'll be going to go ahead and update some pages with this so you have them on Pursuit.com as well. Please do a search for the following videos, Scratch 2.0 Global High Score List by Prestige Test, um, how to Make a High Score List by I'm a Cat, and Scratch 2.0 Splash Screen by Meow Flash. Those are three great videos to check out. Actually, those are projects, even, on Scratch pages, but you can always just get into Google and say, like, Scratch High Score List How To, or Scratch Sound Effects How To, or Scratch Splash Screen How To. Uh, the idea is to want to make it your own, but those are three great examples there, and we're actually going to talk a bit more about good examples with the help of Mickey. Um, looking at our questions here, so I'm going to go ahead and read through some of these. Question number one came in, do you have any examples of good splash screens or high score pages? Excellent. Um, yes, we do. Mickey is going to do some uh, screen sharing here, so I'm going to go ahead and 
send it her way. For some examples of uh, some good splash screens or high score pages, um, let me go ahead and click on this. All right, so here's one you may know. This is the uh, splash screen for a little game called Super Mario Brothers. Um, I think that's a that appears to be a web port of it. That's quite interesting. Um, uh oh, here's one. Guile's theme goes with everything. This is the splash screen from uh, Street Fighter 2. It's another good example of what a splash screen is about. And again, if there are several great tutorials floating around, you can ask our coaches at our Scratch uh, Studio for help. That's it. You know, you'll see the link under my name, but that's at intr.st forward slash Scratch Studio 5C. Oh, there's the splash page for Sonic, and yeah, do we have any, uh, oh, what else do we have going on there? There's uh, Minitown, Rut Row, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, classic from the N64 period, and here's some high score examples. I'm not quite sure what game this is from, but... Um, can see some stuff going on there, and then uh, the next one for Pac-Man and Chomp Chomp, one of the later ent entries into Pac-Man saga. So those are examples of uh, iconic splash screens. Thank you, thank you so much, Mickey. Appreciate it. Best driver in the internet simulcast business. Um, those are examples of iconic splash screens and iconic uh, high score lists. But again, if you're looking for breakdowns on that, you can visit the Coaches Studio that I have linked under my name there, and you can also do some general searches using Scratch High Score List, Scratch Sound Effects, and the like. I'm really looking forward to seeing people's sound effects. There have been some great ones in some of the previous games, so that's, that's going to be a blast as well. So looking at question number two here, on the ongoing hit parade, we have, uh, what game should I add my stuff to? Okay, so as I had sort of pointed out earlier, this is a somewhat open assignment, which means it's up to you. You can basically take one of your previous games or even an entirely different game and remix, add to it, uh, so it fulfills all the game publishing challenge steps. Uh, the Maze Game Extras edition, if you remember that geek out from a couple weeks ago, had some of the same steps, I recall, specifically the splash page stuff and whatnot. So you can always just take your code and duplicate it and then add in these touches and brand your game. And again, uh, you can also take something like, say, from last week, your Choose Your Adventure game, and finalize that by putting all the branding around it. And some people already had splash screens and instructions and whatnot, so there you go. And the final question we had for this week, let's see. What exactly do you mean by branding? Oh, that's a, that's a really good question, because I, I know you'll hear the term, you'll hear the term mentioned a lot of times around marketing and whatnot. Um, when we talk about branding, we're talking about the game experience and the type of game you have going on, the ex the general gist of it, what the game means, like what it means when you've got you know, the Call of Duty game in your hands, or what it means when you have uh, the when you see images for like Candy Crush or something like that. We're talking about that sort of wrapping on it, the the fancy tinfoil and the, the like. So think about your favorite games and how they're set up and how you feel when you turn on the console, or how you feel when you turn your computer, and how the the energy gets going when you see the startup screen, and those little touches on like the high score list, or the the cool sound effects you hear when somebody you know, bumps into a wall or something else. Like that's that's ultimately all branding, and that's what the game publishing challenge is about. So that's a that's a really good question. That's and that's my reply to it. But just think about how you'd make your game your game, like how you'd wrap people up into it. Um, go that little step beyond just having the gameplay fulfillments and into something where it feels like a really cool experience and a narrative or something just that sticks with you. That's basically how you think of branding. So the live geek out schedule for the rest of the week um, is fairly simple. We'll be having two more geek outs on Thursday, July 17th. Mickey, who was uh, helping us out with the drive today and grabbing all the screenshots. She will be hosting the Prize Time Geek Out, where we announced the winner of the Makey Makey for last week's challenge, which was Choose Your Adventure. And on Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, we're going to be doing our show and tell. So if you can, possibly at all, get your games into us before uh, Friday, July 18th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, we can put them in the show and tell. We're really looking forward to it. We saw some amazing games Pretty much every week, right, Mickey? Just 
we've we'll go through and we'll, you'll just start playing and and kind of just go wow look at this look at this and trade notes we really have seen some great stuff but we love having games on the show and tell so if you can't get your game in by then please let us know and we will feature it so with that said again you can visit us at pursuitery.com we have uh, several challenges going on right now even some that aren't scratch related I know um, we've got stuff happening for Camp Minecraft, which is definitely going to be a big deal and has been a big deal. It's amazed by the response to both that and Coding with Scratch, as well as digital storytelling with Phone Our Nation, which is a great opportunity for those of you who are interested in photography and digital storytelling to take out your smartphone and explore the world around you with uh, some help from some great uh, photographers and artists. And with that said, that's going to do it. Uh, my name is Evan Jones. I am the community manager for Pursuitry.com. On behalf of myself and Mickey, take it back, Mickey. You've done a great job. I want to make sure I give you, the, give you the props that you deserve. That will be it for the Hints and Tips Geek Out for Game Publishing Challenge. Again, please get in your entries by 11.59 p.m. PDT on Sunday if you're going for the Makey Makey, and if not, you want to self-pace, that's cool. Just get all five of your challenges in, all five of your challenges in and complete by August 24th at 11.59 p.m. PDT. We'll see you soon on Pursuery.com. Thank you all. Keep the games coming. Have a good one.